Behind me is the best-selling fifth wheel on the market. Hey guys, it's Izzy from Endless RV and the channel that brings you the best in RV DIYs, product reviews, RV tours, and so much more. If you're new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe below and make sure you hit the notification bell. And if you're back for another video, we thank you for joining us. We are gonna change it up a bit today. We're gonna bring you a fifth wheel, specifically we're gonna bring you the Montana 3721 RL. It is a 39 foot and some inch uh, fifth wheel, very popular. Montanas are the most popular fifth wheels on the market. I'm I'm gonna do a quick walk around exterior. MJ is gonna to touch on some cool things inside and we hope you enjoy it. And make sure to stay to the end. We're gonna tell you what the asking price is for this unit. All right, so let's start up front, guys. You have a nice uh, fiberglass cap with LEDs built in. Very nice, you have your pin box. So I believe the pin weight on this is 2,765 pounds. So this is on a drop frame, and what I mean by that is that the frame is a little lower. So it's gonna give you, for simple terms, it's gonna give you a lot of cargo space, okay? The way you can tell something's on a drop frame normally is that if you look over here, if this angles down like this, most of the time this means it's gonna be a drop frame. And I'm gonna show you uh, what kind of storage you get when you have a drop frame. So I'm gonna take you to the front compartment so you can see how much storage there is. What's nice here, you have some nice uh, slam latch doors, okay? And then they hold up magnetically. Pretty good weight on this. If you look underneath, you can see how much storage is in here. And uh, I'm sitting in here right now. You could, Jason could live in there. There's plenty of storage. Uh, a couple other things I like, it looks like they've uh, ducted this, so there's actually gonna be heat coming in here. Uh, you have your satellite hookup, you have uh, two 110 plugs in here. And the floor is like a nice rubberized floor. You have dual propane tanks on here. I believe these are 30 pound propane tanks. You also have electronic leveling, hydraulic leveling, which is really nice. Fiberglass walls on here. This is not a painted coach. So just expect that with some time, you will start seeing this oxidize and kind of start looking, losing its look. But you're definitely gonna pay a lot less money if you don't go with the uh, full body paint. Continuing down the, down the passenger side, you have dual 110 outlets. You also have your uh, tanked water heater. It's either going to be a six or a 10 gallon, I'm not sure. Uh, overhead, you have awnings. They're going to come right over the front part of the coach, over the entry door. And then you have a second awning on the back slide that goes from the slide, the slide face out. So you do have on the passenger side toward the front of the coach, there are two speakers mounted into the sidewall, which is nice. You also have uh, your entry stairs. You have the, the Moride step above, which is you know really nice also. It's very easy to move up and down. You have a grab handle here. Now this is a four season rated motorhome. I already told you about the uh, heat being pumped into the basement. Just take it for what it is, right? Four season, I don't know if I would camp out in uh, negative 35 degrees, but it's rated as a four season RV. So first uh, rear slide on the passenger side, you have frameless windows, which are nice. The wheels on here, uh, they're, I guess, alloy wheels, or I doubt they're aluminum, they're probably an alloy type of wheel, and they're on uh, 16 inch tires, which is nice. The passenger side slide, it's a gear driven slide. You also have a window here on the uh, back wall, on the passenger side, frameless window. Let's continue to the back wall. Okay, this is not a fiberglass cap, back wall uh, along with a, a window here on the back now this is actually going to be in your living room because it's a, a real living a ladder to go up to the roof you see you have your led lights as well as your gutters which is nice and led tail lights also located on your rear wall is going to be your uh, power cord hookup let's continue walking down the driver's side now again you have Frameless windows by LCI, which is nice. You're gonna see in the inside, it's gonna start looking really good because you have a lot of light that gets in. Uh, second slide toward the rear. Again, this is a gear driven slide. Continue walking down. Now you have some venting here. I'm not sure if that's for the fridge or that's gonna be for your washer dryer hookup. That may be the washer dryer hookup venting. Now you have your front slide. This is going to be a cable driven slide. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of a lighter slide. Um, I'm not a big fan of the cable driven, but you know, they work if it's a lighter slide. Let us go into this compartment here on the driver's side. And you see you have a nice storage here. All right, you can fit a decent amount of stuff in there. Now what I 
No, it actually does stay up, so that's nice. So slam latch doors, there are no hinges here on the, uh, the gas struts, so they will stay up. Closes nicely. Let us go into our wet bay. Now, this is the other side of the pass-through storage I showed you before. Okay, so you can see how big that is. And now, I do want to show you something here. Oh, look so at that. So, let us look. Here's your wet bay. But if you look on the bottom... Looks like Mickey and Minnie were there's here. There's a lot of mouse droppings here. No bueno, guys. No bueno. Let's continue over here, okay? You have your uh, outside shower, which is nice. Your uh, city water, your black water tank flush and uh, your freeze guard winterizing system. I'm assuming you put it right through here and you can winterize right through here, which is nice also. You also have your uh, low point dr drains and you have satellite and cable hookup and you also have a battery disconnect here. So you pull that, that will disconnect your batteries, which is nice. And then also in the front, you can see you have your auto leveling. So you're able to, as soon as you come out, you can control all the levels right in front, right by the back of your truck. All right, finally, here are all the specs. 39.7 feet, three slides, can sleep up to four people. Has a 66 gallon fresh water tank, 88 gallon gray, 49 black. The unit is 13 feet, four inches, 13.44 in height and eight feet wide. The hitch weight is 27.65. The shipping weight is 13,261 pounds, and the combined gross vehicle weight rating is 16,750 pounds. All right, let's go inside. All right, we'll start in the living area. Oh, here's our lighting director. I'm not even set up for lighting. That's right. Now, this is what I'm talking about. This is why we go back and forth, fifth wheel class A. This living space is beautiful. So you have two recliners, it has heat, all your controls, of course. There's a USB here as well. Then, here's your cup holders. This is awesome too. You have a just a regular plug and then two USBs here, so charge away. Over here, you got a nice uh, three-seat sofa. So I just pulled this out for you, so you got a nice big bed here. So this is where two of the four people can sleep. So that's really great there. Something that we love about this is, Izzy had mentioned it outside, the amount of window space, you're getting a lot of natural light in here, which I love. I don't like dark. So you have this full, you're running the full gamut here, windows all the way around. So you have a nice view outside. You have a lot of storage, just like you have a lot of storage outside, you have a ton of storage inside as well. Short people, you may need a little step stool, but look at all this space that you have, four of them. That's a lot of space. Then over the recliners, four also. And they're deep, too. You're fitting a lot of stuff in here. So the valances that go all the way around, they're almost like a tri-color. So you can see that. That's, I, that's really attractive. I like the design on that. And over here, we got your TV, Jensen TV. Here's what we like, right? Not on days like today. Nice fireplace. More cabinets. You got a lot of storage in here, guys. A lot. In and out. Check this out. Massive. A lot of space. There's massive space. Right? There. You like to eat? This is good. <laughs> All right. Full timers. This is a lot of room for you. All right. Here you go. You got your double sink. One larger, one smaller. With this, you know, the, uh, the faucet that I like. Underneath here, tons of cabinet space again. And you've got drawers. All right, you can fit all the, the uh, kitchen supplies that you want. All right, so you have solid service countertops on the island and here. You got a burner cooktop. Here's your stove, very nice. Down here underneath, more storage. And then microwave convection oven. So you can do a lot of cooking at one time, right? I like the stove and the convection. Here you got some space for uh, wine bottles, which is nice. You have a Samsung residential fridge, a lot of space. That's one thing I love about Montana, Montana's is they have a lot of space in them. Freezer, top and bottom. It's beautiful. Those of you that watched our last RV tour from Tennessee, it's not as hot, but it's still hot. All right, so the ceiling in here is beautiful. Very detailed, you have a ceiling fan. 
you have a fantastic van, one of two in this RV, which is really nice. Um, and it's a nice sloped ceiling too, so it gives it like a, a nice little look to it. It's, it's a little artsy, I like that. So then for your table, you have two chairs. There are two chairs that are stored in the bedroom. This table does come out, it extends. You ha and you also have some storage area, just a little bit. You could put a couple little things in the side next to the table. But you also have this. So if you like your tchotchkes, okay, line them up. All right, so you have central back, which is great. More, more storage. Check this out. Look at that. Then you have, there's, there's no shortage of storage space in here. Here's your controls. All right, you have tank heaters right here. It's four season right. coach, right? Yeah, exactly. All right, this is beautiful right here. It's a little touch, but it's really nice. Two steps up, headed towards the bathroom. Then we're gonna have a nice size closet in here. You got your washer dryer hookups in here. That's probably what that vent was for. All right, lighting boy, let's get some light in here. Okay, we have two drawers here. There's Izzy's dreaded carpet underneath. All right, let's head into the bathroom. Here's your door to close you out, okay, because you have two entrances into the bathroom, one from the master bedroom. Here's your shower. All right, tall, if you're super tall, eh, I'm 5'9", so I mean, you have a little space, but don't, you know, don't try to get out without bending down, you're gonna hurt yourself. It's a one-piece fiberglass, right? Yes, it is. The bathroom is nice and roomy. Um, like I said, the shower is a little touch and go for you tall folks, but medicine cabinet, really nice here. We have solid surface countertops. The sink, the faucet, that's a weird placement. That that, that, weird, yeah. Right? Isn't that odd? That's kind of strange. I've never seen one like that. But anyway, you have two, two more cabinets underneath. There's your toilet paper. A lot of space though here. Prime pooping position. Prime pooping position. Covered. And that is a porcelain toilet. Yes, and here's your second fantastic fan in the bathroom. Something I like in the Montana, I mean, it's not high quality woodwork, but it looks nice, right? It's nice and detailed all the way throughout the rig. When you enter in, you have a nice mirror here, which I like, we don't have, we don't have that in ours. More cabinet space underneath. All right, you have your, uh, your thermostat on the right wall there. Here's your TV. Six drawers, small drawers, all right? They're not deep. King size bed, it dips in a little. I don't know if you'd like it. Um, then we head over into more storage. So your closet, let me get out of the way here. There's your extra chairs for the dining. Here's a uh, place to hang and store underneath. Okay, and you have over here, this is a very cool little thing here. Let me get out of the way. I like this. Laundry. Yeah, that's a good idea. Very cool. Right? You could even just, you could drape a laundry bag if you want to just put it in the bag, whatever. And then a lot more, you have a more hanging space here. You could put more clothes in there. You could put baskets with clothes. Okay. This is locked. Let's open that. There you go. And you've got some outlets in there as well. And then on the other side of the bed, more storage. Two shelves in there. And more here so you could just you can fit a lot of clothes in here also whisper quiet ac all throughout the rig which is really i like that because especially if you're hard of hearing when you have that loud background noise it's really hard to hear e each other talk so that's a definite perk all right guys so i hope you enjoyed that tour the msrp is ninety five thousand one hundred fifty four dollars asking price 67995 but as you know that is always negotiable if you enjoyed this video please feel free to comment like share below if you know anybody's looking for a montana share this video or if you have one let us know how you like it let us know how you like it to the left of us we're going to put our rv diy as well as as our rv walkthrough playlist and for myself mj and jason who's again the light man today we thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the road